<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. Afternoon, people. It's Paul. Rate my beer in case you didn't know. I'm Michelle. Right, sorry, turn that wrong and wrong way. We have Zipia Keller beer. Um, quite intrigued by this one. Comes in at five percent. I actually saw some sediment in this. Michelle thinks I dreamt it, <laughs> but I did see some sediment in it, and it looked really good. Um, obviously, we brought this back from Austria, so it only cost about one euro 16 cents or something so 500 ml bottle you know we're getting robbed in england i do enjoy a beer, so i'm quite looking forward to trying yeah this we one. was going to do it against france kind of weren't we but we thought rather than everyone saying i'm biased because france kind of will probably win we'll just do it on its own like, yeah france kind of being a main keller we like isn't it yeah it is it's one of my favorites the france kind of so Mm -hmm. Get that sediment out the bottom. If there's any there. Mm. Yeah, there is a bit, it is getting more cloudy. So, as okay. I say, that was your bottle. And that has got a real nice cloudiness to it. Yeah, absolutely lovely. It does look good, doesn't it? Right, yeah, I better get a snapshot. As it unfortunately, it's the only one we've got. I've never been able to purchase this in England. We did mean to pick up the pills and another one, but unfortunately we didn't. Did we? We did get quite a few beers, so it was a case of um, just what we could bring with us, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it's, you could do it cheap in Austria if you go back along that route, but you'd be sat in your hotel room all the time, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, you're going to go on the... Okay. Small white... One thing ahead? Yeah. Um, I'm not picking up a, a lot of aroma from that. No, it smells like mainly a standard beer, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That's good. Mm, I'm not sure. I'll have another try. Smooth? Yeah, it's very smooth. There's minimal carbonation there. Um, there is a wheatiness to it. Yeah, but what I was finding, it's sort of got a quite a sharp bit of aftertaste. It just that's exactly what I was going to It's all smooth, next. like the malt, and that's mm. all coming through well. And then it really, like, boom, just right yeah. at the end. You're quite really. right. There is a bit in this. Well, I'm always right. Yeah. But it's a real sharp bit, and it's not in a bad way, but it'll take a bit of getting used to. I think with this, as you're drinking one and your palate adjusts, it's going to get mm. better and better, I would say. There's almost an earthiness to this. a little bit herbally almost on the beginning yeah i mean obviously it's unfiltered isn't it because the color well, beer yeah, is, that's what it is unfiltered. Yeah. there's nothing in english i don't know anything about this beer i just randomly picked it out because i've I'm been looking at it yeah i am picking up an earthiness uh, maybe a little bit of pine in there as well yeah, i could go along with pine because i thought maybe I was picking up a little bit of fruit on the aroma, but having tasted that, I'm not finding that in the taste at all. It's, um, but it's definitely quality. The, I say the bitterness at the end, yeah. the backbone does it's, take... It's quite predominant, that, isn't it? 
it's, it's really sharp. Mm. And not like of a Pilsner taste, of a, a different taste. It's, There's almost a kind of like a dampness there that you would get with an IPA, which is really strange because I just wouldn't expect that from Cambodia. I'm certainly not dating my O223. Blimey, should have got a short date price for that. Oh, <laughs> God, that was barrel. People were going crackers. Yeah, this is drinkable, um, comparable to the France kind one. No, no, it hasn't got that smoothness, it hasn't got that richness, and for this style of beer, I wouldn't kind of expect that kind of bite of bitterness at the end. Yeah, no, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, don't get me wrong. And I say, I think that the more you drink of it, the more you mm. it adjust and so on, but it's just, just different to any other chemical, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's not quite what I expected from this style. No, but it's still great to try it. I know I should have gone for the pills. <laughs> <laughs> but as I say, the more I drink of it, the more I'm starting to like it. But it's, that, that bitterness it is, is really that sharp. kind of acquired taste. Um, palm has that kind of taste to it. Yeah, but it's nothing like palm, is it? No, totally different style, different texture. But there are qualities in there that I am kind of picking up in the taste with this. Yeah, but we weren't sure about palm at first, were we? No, that was quite a unique taste in beer, and um, it, it, it required a little bit of drinking for your palate to become accustomed to it. What I will give this is, it's very smooth. The carbonation is very minimal, which I think would make it really drinkable and quite light on your stomach. It's not gonna make you feel too gassy. Yeah, it's... It is no Franz Kiner, no way. Um, Franz Kiner killer for me is, mm. I'd love to see it on, obviously on it's, a perfect draft. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, maybe there's a reason this is not on the blade, I don't know. Maybe it would taste better coming through the blade or the sub. That's a possibility. Who knows, but it's not great, but it's not setting your world alight. I'm getting more used to the, mm. the bitterness, and I, I don't mind the bitterness, as long as it's not too hoppy at the end, which it isn't. Um, I'd still go yes, and I'd go on a fair and average seven. Yeah, for me this um, it's not the best example of a Keller beer, but it's more than drinkable. I think seven's fair. Seven's fair. So yeah. it's something different. It's something if we hadn't gone to Austria, we'd probably never have got our hands on. So that's yeah. quite true. What can we say? <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Remember, there's a competition on. I won't go on no longer because we've already gone over the time we we're trying to yeah. allocate. Bonjour.